What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're going to talk about some of the things that have been announced, some patch notes, yada yada yada. Uh, I will start doing future videos on patch notes if uh, it ends up being something that's no uh, newsworthy. But if it's not something, if it's like little piddly stuff, like they're just fixing a few things or something like that, that's very good, but it's not worth making a video over. So, uh, to, the recent patch notes are that they have made it to where zone events uh, will now award Abyssal Crusader marks uh, in probably not as much the Void Stones, if at all, at level 65. Uh, whenever you're prior to max level, I think up until 59 or something they were talking about, uh, you will get void stones, but it'll be reduced. I mean, really, it seems like they're trying to do away with void stones. And just recently, they also made it to where Conquest now awards Abyssal Crusader marks instead of void stones. I believe that's how it was. But, um, also in Conquest, whenever you open up a chest, it's, uh, it's also going to have a chance of giving you a warmonger mark so that you can get your warmonger gear. So, all right, uh, this kind of opens up a whole line of discussion as in, uh, it seems to be that they're, uh, you know, progressing in gear as we go along. Now they do this every single time, pretty much. They make it to where it gets easier and easier to get the, uh, lower level gear, so to say, you know, well, not lower level, lower grade gear. So, uh, like the Abyssal Crusader gear, now it's going to be a lot easier to get. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier to get your Abyssal Crusader accelerators in order to upgrade your gear. Um, but they've already announced that a new tier of gear is going to be coming out. Now, they originally called it Tier 4, but now people are saying that they're changing it to Tier uh, 3.5 because there were so many complaints because Tier 3 has only been out for a short amount of time. And uh, they're thinking that really it should be to where, you know, we don't have to go to a whole new set of gear just three, three months after... Uh, Tier 3 came out, you know, three months after Warmonger gear came out, all that stuff. So, um, but it seems, uh, it seems like this is going to be a slight upgrade in gear. Now, uh, how this makes it stand with PvPers and PvEers, it's still a very bad thing. Um, so to say that, uh, the universal gear, whenever they took away all of our PvP stats from gear, that it was supposed to encourage you to go from one side to the other. So otherwise, if you're a PvE -er and you do all of your normal dungeons and raids and all that stuff, uh, you will be encouraged to go to PvP because your gear doesn't have the PvP stat to it. Well, you don't need it anymore. You can go to PvP and do very well. As a matter of fact, if you're uh, a raider or something, or even if you constantly do well, do all of your uh, charges with the dungeons and stuff, your gear is probably going to be so good that it gets bolstered down in PvP. So you're going to have the absolute best gear in PvP very easily if you're a pve -er. Well, the same is not the story going the other other way. It, basically, a PvPer, if they, you know, grind it out and get the absolute best gear that we can get, which is the Warmonger gear, well, guess what? It's only the equivalent of T2 gear. So, people that are, uh, basically, we cannot go to PvE and do really, really well like PvEers can over into PvP. Um, we're not going to have the best gear. We're not even going to be like on par with somebody that is going into entry level T3 rating. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not an even playing field by any means. And PVPers have always been very upset with this ever since the, uh, gear unification has came out. So, uh, I don't know if they're going to fix that soon. I don't know if they're going to make, uh, you know, PVP gear any better. It, it may still stay like a full tier behind or more or something. I don't know. But if they come out with 3.5 or 4, it's going to widen that gear gap between PVPers and PVEers even more. And right now, PVPers are not encouraged to go to PVE. So, 
the gear unification is not working whenever it comes to getting PvPers to go to PvE. Now, it probably works uh, vice versa, as in PvEers can just do dungeons and stuff and probably gear, be geared out good enough to where their stuff is going to be bolstered down in PvP, so they'll have the absolute best gear in PvP and they're more than willing to go over there. So, I don't know. Well, I don't know if they'll ever fix that, but we'll see. All right, so that's the only real noteworthy thing of the patch notes. Uh, it's it's basically that they're changing zone events to give Abyssal Crusader marks, and that's going to make gearing up even easier, and it seems that they're amping up for new gear to come out. That's what it seems anyway. That's usually what they do whenever they're about to bring in the new gear and stuff. Uh, they make it easier to get the lower grade stuff. So be prepared for that. Maybe we'll have some new PvP gear come out too. I mean, because Warmonger gear came out uh, around the same time that uh, the Tier 3 stuff came out, if, I, if my memory serves me correct. So we might be getting some new PvP gear coming up too. Not too sure. We'll see. But uh, that, that basically tells me to... Uh, it's almost kind of leaning towards uh, it would be best to, I don't know, kind of wait off on some of your upgrades and stuff. Because if they introduce new PvP gear, it'll probably be an upgrade to the Warmonger stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, will it introduce a whole tier of gear as in it will be something new? Kind of like how the... Uh, you know, frenetic weapons got changed into Warmonger. You couldn't upgrade from frenetic to Warmonger. You had to actually get Warmonger gear. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, I don't even know if new PvP gear is coming out. I'm just speculating. So, all right. So another thing that got announced is the price of the. Uh, let's see here. Let me click over real fast. The price of the new Soul Pack, and it's called the Ascended Soul Pack. And it's basically going to be the uh, new souls for each of the five uh, callings. And uh, they've already been announced. You know, a lot of footage has been shown. I'll probably make videos on some of it, hopefully, if I get time. Uh, such as the, you know, Frost Keeper, the War Channer, you know, all those different souls that's coming out. Well, the price of it is going to be $34.99 in U.S. dollars. Um, so yeah it's it's kind of expensive but that's kind of what's expected with like an expansion uh you don't really pay too much i mean we don't really pay for expansions in rift uh for the most part i mean they come out with packages that you can get whenever a new expansion comes out like nightmare tide did you could get the ultimate edition and it would unlock you know the earring slots and give you a shark mount and all this other stuff and they made it to where basically you could get a big package full of stuff well you didn't have to buy the expansion though you could uh you know you could just play the game and go right into the nightmare tide lands without having to pay for it so uh this is kind of their way of getting the money i mean there's plenty of ways to try is getting the money don't get don't get me wrong but this is just another way that they're uh uh trying to bring in revenue is by charging like expansion level pricing for soul packs now as it goes along i imagine the price of the soul packs will go down over time but uh, if you're like me, you're probably going to be paying the $34.99 and uh, trying to get the new souls because uh, I know the Frost Keeper looks pretty crazy to me. Uh, I don't know how good the new souls are going to be, but most likely the new souls are going to be very strong. Uh, at least a couple of them. Now, uh, they, they usually kind to uh, kind of make it a little bit overpowered whenever it first comes out. Uh, it's a really an enticing thing whenever you think, okay, these new souls are so good, I have to have them. You know that that's kind of that's kind of where they usually go, and it's it's like torture not to get it. If you if these if these souls are wrecking people in PvP and then doing really well in PvE, it's like 
I gotta have them. I want to play them. I want to do the real good DPS. I want to do the really good healing or whatever else is going to come out. So, uh, yeah. They, they know this is the real enticing thing. They know the soul packs are the big sellers. So, uh, yeah, it's got expansion level pricing to it. $34.99. So, I'm going to be buying it though. I, I pay money for games. I'm not one of those people that complains about free-to-play games, you know, charging me for uh, extra things. I mean, I even played uh, RuneScape and stuff like that to where you couldn't even access most of the world unless you became a subscriber, but it was free to play. You know, you could, you could wander around a lot of the areas and, you know, have fun or whatever, but all of a sudden you came to a gate and it goes, you can't pass unless you're a subscriber. Well, I'm used to that stuff. Uh, every game is trying to make money. I pay for the game, so uh, whether they're free to play or not, I know there's always a price tag at some point. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.